With the wheelchair outcome measure, we're really interested in people's participation. And by participation, we mean the big things that they want to do with their lives. So it might be walking the dog, it might be going to work, it might be seeing a movie. And those are the bigger, higher level outcomes that we want to evaluate. The wheelchair outcome measure is a client-centered measure, which means we find out from the client what it is they want to be doing and then evaluate those activities. It's pen and paper, so no special tools are required, and it takes about 15 minutes to administer. We first off ask people what activities they want to use their wheelchair for within the home. And what activities do you want to use your wheelchair for outside the home in the community? At that point, we'll get them to rate how important those activities are on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being completely unimportant and 10 being extremely important and rate their level of satisfaction with those activities on the same scale. So zero being completely unsatisfied and 10 being extremely satisfied. In the second part of the whom, we get people to rate their satisfaction with their positioning, their comfort, and also whether they've had any skin breakdown. For scoring the measure, multiply the importance times the satisfaction and add those up for each goal. When you re-administer the wheelchair outcome measure, we ask that you just redo the satisfaction again. We've been able to determine that if there's a change score of two with people's satisfaction for a specific goal, then that's a meaningful clinical change. Then you know that you've actually done something. By administering the wheelchair outcome measure before and after an intervention, like providing a new wheelchair, new seating, or training, you can look at how your intervention has changed the client's satisfaction with their participation in goals that are important to them. If a person's having problems identifying activities, that they want to do with their wheelchair. It's permissible to suggest options based on the things you know about them already, or perhaps things you know about similar clients who might do other things in the community. You can use the wheelchair outcome measure whenever you want. Oftentimes you'll use it when there's a change that's anticipated. So if someone's looking for a new wheelchair, you'll want to get baseline information on that person. And then when you give them the new device, you can evaluate it. If people have more than one wheelchair, you can administer more than one whom. So you'd have a whom per wheelchair. The wheelchair outcome measure is available free of charge for everyone. We only ask that people register so that they can receive the whom and also get updates about its development. The measure is available from our website, through the Skyr website or also Dr. Miller's homepage.